In this series, we'll dive into our new embedded analytics SDK. I'm going to show you how you can embed questions into your web app, how you can update theming so analytics can look and feel like part of your product. But for this first video, I'm going to show you how you can spin up our sample React app so you can quickly get started with our SDK. To get started, make sure you're running Node version 20 or higher. If you don't have Node on your machine, you can go to nodejs.org and then download Node. Next, we'll go to metabase.com. You want to make sure you're running version 51 or higher. The easiest way to do this is just try Metabase Cloud free. You'll get a 14-day free trial and then go through that setup. Once that's set up, it will look something like this, and we can come here to the admin settings. We're going to go to embedding. Let's go to the embedded analytics SDK. We're going to want to enable that, and then we'll go to authentication, JWT, and you're going to want to put in your URL. So come up here to your URL and get everything up to the .com, paste that in here, and then click generate key. Let's set up the sample application. So go over to github.com. I'll put the URL to this repository in the description below, but we're gonna navigate over here to this code button, give it a click, and we can clone this via HTTPS or SSH. I'm gonna do HTTPS, so let's go ahead and copy that. And then we're gonna open up a terminal. Make sure you CD into your favorite directory here, and then I'm gonna say git clone, paste that in there, and hit enter. All right, we're done, ready to rock and roll. Let's set up our application environment. So open up your favorite IDE. I'm gonna be using cursor. I'll go to open project and go to my development folder and then the repo we cloned and click open. Next, let's go to this .env.example. We're gonna go ahead and copy and let's go ahead and paste and we'll rename that to just .env. Perfect. And you can see here that we need the Metabase instance URL. So let's head over to Metabase. I'm going to copy that. We'll head back and let's go ahead and paste that in here. And then you can see cursor says tab here. So I'm going to press tab and it's saying, hey, do you want to put it here as well? This is the Metabase instance URL. I like that, except. And then the Metabase JWT shared secret. We need that. So we'll head back over to Metabase, we can go to the settings, admin settings, authentication, JWT, and then you can copy your key here, and then we'll head back to cursor, and we will paste that in there. Perfect. So once we have that, we are just one step away from spinning this thing up and seeing how it looks. Now for the fun part. Let's go ahead and CD into our server, and then we're going to do a npm install and then we'll do a npm start. And you can see we're listening on port 9090. Let's open up a new terminal window and then we're gonna CD into the client. Let's do the npm install and we will do an npm start. Cool, so this is running on localhost 3100. So let's go give it a look. Success, we have an embedded question in our web app. So super awesome. Good job if you stuck around and made it this far. Thanks for watching, and in the next video, I'm going to cover theming so you can see how embedded analytics can look and feel like part of your app, which is super cool. But let me know in the comments below what else you want me to cover, and I'll see you next time.